Okay, so here's the deal. Your boy, Peter Curdy, is not freaking playing. He wants his shmoney, and he wants it now. So, Tiffany, Miss New York Pollard, you're going to have to stop going on these shopping sprees and whatnot, buying all these fancy things and diamond rings, and just give him the money. <laughs> now, let me stop. But basically, your girl Tiffany on the far right posted this selfie with her mom on the far left and Candy Burris from... The Real Housewives of Atlanta, season eight, right smack dab in the middle. Now, take a look-see here at what's hanging from Miss New York's left arm. That's a really nice bag that she has there. Hmm. I wonder how much it costs. Anyways, here's what she said on the selfie on Instagram. She said, at the real sister Patterson, at Candy Burris, at I am Steve Harvey TV. Today is such a glorious day. Well... When her former celebrity stylist, Peter Curdy, saw the selfie, he said on Twitter, and I quote, Girl at Tiffany Pollard, how you buying a Chanel bag? Hashtag show receipts when you still owe me $5,000 in styling fees. Kiss an emoji. Put your money where your mouth is emoji and middle finger. Fuck you, bitch. Emoji. Damn. The shade. It looks like your girl Tiffany Pollard needs to come up off that Fetty Wap and give Peter his money and stop playing. How's she just going out there just buying shit and trying shit when you can't pay your former friend and co-worker? It just doesn't make any sense. But anyways, man, listen. I have an upcoming interview with Peter. I'm also trying to get Tiffany's former booking agent Antonio Velez to come on my radio show as well because it would make for an amazing interview so here's the deal if you guys want to know more about this story I already made videos about it you can check them out if you need a link <laughs> to the backstory about how Tiffany backstabbed him and there's a lot of juicy stuff in those videos uh, the first one is pretty long. The second one isn't as long. So I figured I would go ahead and give you guys a fear warning about that. But yeah, if you guys want to check that out, I'll definitely, you know, give you a link in the comment section. Rather, links to those videos. Just say, where's the, the backstory or where's the other Tiffany videos? And I'll hook you up in the comment section. But man, I'm hoping that one day, one of these days, Tiffany and Peter will at least be cool enough with each other where... You know, there won't be any animosity or anything. You know, I'm I'm actually a Miss New York fan. I I think that she's great for reality TV, and Peter's really extra cool, man. They're, they're both two interesting personalities. I just wish that they were interacting with each other again because I think that they could definitely make some magic happen. But anyways, this is all my opinion. Shout out to Peter. Shout out to Antonio. Shout out to Tiffany. Shout out to everybody. You know, so I'm not a hater. I'm happy that she has her beautiful bag. But hey, I hope you got about $5,000 sitting in that bag, Tiffany, because Peter wants his money. <laughs> Anyways, look out for the upcoming interview. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com and follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine.